Well, howdy, folks. You know, even after spring or late spring, all the way throughout the summer, I like to fish with a little ultralight stuff or equipment like this uh, on and off throughout the summer. Oftentimes, I even fish on humps out in the middle of the lake. I mean, and locate boogie on shellcracker. But just fishing sparse cover, even in the hot of the, hot of the summer, mill full, hydrilla, old bluff banks, um, blowdowns, docks, you name it, boogie on shellcracker will scatter off in these places. A lot of fun. And uh, you'll learn a lot about how they move around a lake in the summertime just by messing with them occasionally. Good eating fish, fun to catch. Hope you enjoy the video. I tell you what, folks, these mountains and pretty water we have here at Gunnersville, Alabama, it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of water to be fished, no doubt. A lot of places fish can be. You know, big lakes like this, there's a lot of what you call dead water, deserts. And one of the things I do to find any species of fish is I'm looking for structure. Uh, I'm looking for uh, deep water that's close to areas such as flats, I'm looking for new emergent grass. I'm looking for a lot of different things. I'm even looking and, and watching what the birds are doing. Uh, blue herons that's on the bank is a good telltale sign uh, about fish being in the area. The old ways is hard to beat. Indian tricks. All right, let's get in here and see what we can do. They're scattered up a little bit there, Elmo, so let's target fish. We got a, a floating log out here. It's not a very big one, but now a lot of times they'll relate to stuff like this. Any piece of cover that's on a flat and big bluegill relate to stuff like that, but we'll see if there's one around it. any kind of cover or object that might attract the fish. And um, mill full patches like that one right there, just sparse veg vegetation. Right up ahead, there's a lot of sparse vegetation. By that, I mean new emergent grass that's coming up, meaning mill full. Some of it's hydrilla. Big clump of meal full there. I'm over my corks down, 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 down. Big clump. My goodness. That's what I'm talking about. Now, if this is a bluegill, it's a big one. Of course, I'm matching my tackle to the fish now. Yeah, it's a bluegill. Now, they fight. Look here, what a big old pretty bluegill. That's a lot of fun. Matching teeny, tiny, tiny, teeny stuff with the meanest little fish in the river. Look at there. That is pretty. That little tin got him too. Look at there, what a little chunk. <laughs> Get on back. A lot of fun. Yeah, where is that at? There's a clump right there. Points are excellent. I'm right here on the point. Places for bluegill close to spawning areas like this one right. Well, <laughs> that cork was just drifting right here. This point may have a lot of fish on it. There's another one. Ain't no great big, and he's not big as them other two, but he fought. Look at that little tin hook. It got him. Let me straighten out that. 
jig there. Now it's straight. Let's let him go. Okay, what I was going to say is, see this corner straight in front of me? They'll be bedding in there like crazy. And not too long, they'll, they'll stage up on these points over this mill full and stuff of that nature. Feed, feeding up heavy so they can spawn. They do a lot like a crappie does or habits or quite a bit like a crappie anyway. But uh, there's another one. Golly, they pull. Matching your tackle with them makes them a, an opponent. Look here. See what I'm talking about? And he ain't all that big at all. Fat, though. Beautiful fish. And what makes it fun is downsizing and everything just as small as you can get it. That's what makes it sporty. Let's try that again out there. I'm wanting one of them bulls that's up here. Now we got some treetops up here. Uh, and rocks. I bet you they could be some right down through there too. There we go. Oh my, my, my. What do we got? It ain't a bluegill. Feels like a crappie to me. Feels like a big crappie. But it could be, y'all, hey, what a shell cracker. Folks. I thought it was a huge crappie. But I want y'all to look what a shell cracker right here. <laughs> My goodness. You never know what you're going to catch. Come here. Golly, bum, what a shell cracker. That's a big one. Come here. Quit, quit. Hey, don't break my line. Now I want y'all to look. What a shell cracker. Now, is that not a big one? Let's take a look at that. That is huge. All right. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat that one. I guarantee you. See, I caught him right there. I'm going to focus on this bluff. They could be some more of these devils right here. I'm, I ain't brought nothing with me right here. But I'm going to empty that bucket and put water in it, and I'm going to eat that son of a gun. Now, that's exciting. That's a big shell cracker. And that's good eating, too. I love bluegill and shell crackers. Hey, let me rig me up a bucket right here. We'll catch another one. There we go. Golly, bum, this light line is fun, folks. I want y'all to get y'all a little old rig like this. If you can't find one pound line, get two. <laughs> Fish is cutting up, whatever he is. Another good bluegill. I tell you, I'm gonna go ahead and put him in there with my shell cracker. If I had three or four of them, that'd be good enough for me. Put him in the bucket there. That's a good fight. Let's try it up under the shade right there. Look here. Oh, I missed him. That must have been a little bitty one. There's a lot of little bitty ones hitting. There's one. That ain't no little bitty one. I believe that's another eater guy. <laughs> a lot of fun. Yeah, that's a good, good one. I can tell he's in the frying pan. Yep. It's a good one. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Get in that bucket. 
wished I had me a live well in this boat, but the water temperature is cold enough to where they won't ruin before I can get home. Try that again up there. I'm sitting in about seven foot of water right now, just fishing a little cover, and they're scattered off, scattered out down through here. See, that's a little bitty one. Get a lot of that. There we go. I'm catching all kinds of stuff right here. Whew. Cut up, cut up, cut up. This is a big blue deal. Look here. It's a good one. Big as my hand, Stan. Let's put that one in the bucket. Nothing wrong with that. Can y'all see that big snap right there in front of us? He's fixing to go down to that thing as big as the number two wash tub. Hope y'all seen that. There we go. Whoa. That's a mohawk, mohawk nine handle now. It's a big one. Big gill. Yeah. Pretty thing. Let me take a chance. Golly, look how girthy. See how girthy that fish is? Look at there. Thick, girthy, he's peeing all over me. Let's let him go. I've got enough. Go on. Whew. Splash water on the lens, didn't he, folks? <laughs> I want to give a special thank you. I want to show y'all something. Uh, sent to me from Scott. From Kentucky okay I want to show you all these this is fascinating stuff right here I mean I get spoiled on this channel I y'all send me all kinds of stuff and I'll I use it but these I want because he found these Scott found these and they're antique floats look at them there's no telling they're just light as a feather too is that not cool? There's no telling how old these are. Let me give you another shot of them. Okay. And there's no way I'd use them. Matter of fact, I've got a lot of little stuff like this, old stuff, fishing stuff. I'm gonna build me a little case, get me some plexiglass, and get my carpenter tools out and make me a little display like put it in man cave because you know, I, I love stuff like that I'm, I'm sort of a historian I do a lot of reading and stuff like that that's that's fascinating thank you Scott and also I thank you uh, to Micah from Arkansas and he took the time out in which this is something I'm going to do this summer for deep water crappie in brush on the edges of creek channels and things of that nature is fish with some of these weedless jigs. Let me hold up a couple. And he, and he sent me a bunch of them. I mean, I got, I got another handful of them over here. But here's a 132nd, which that'd be good for shooting dots. Um, and here's a one sixteenth of an ounce, and they have uh, sickle hooks, quality jig heads, and I appreciate it very much, Micah. I really do. And we're going to use these on this channel when the time comes, when I find the right set of circumstances to fish these baits. Because as far as crappie goes, I catch them year round. Okay. Um, I catch them the other 80% of the time, no doubt. These fish can be caught 
year long. They have to eat. And uh, we catch them on this channel. But uh, I like to catch everything. I love to mix it up on this channel because fishing is a sport. No doubt second to none. And thank y'all for the great comments. Everything that y'all have done, I appreciate it. I really do. And... And remember! Woo! Wait, go fishing when you can! By calling it good!